Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have another Cayo Perico heist guide video and in this video I'll be showing you all the secondary targets, I'll be showing you all the infiltration points, the escape points, the compound entry points, and I'll be showing you certain points of interest like the air traffic control tower and the power station, but I won't be showing others like the bolt cutters and I'll explain why a little bit later. But starting off here, let's talk about the compound entry points. Now the compound entry points, this is what what you have to do the first time that you're doing the scoping out. Um, once you finish the scoping out mission and you do a second scoping out mission, you can start the other ones, but the very first time you need to do the compound entry points before you do anything else. Now, you need to climb up in this tower each time. The box can be on different levels. It can be on the bottom, on the middle, it can be around the top area. You hack the box, you do the hacking mini game. Now, once you do the hacking mini game, you will access the cameras. The first time you'll see a cutscene of Rubio feeding um, Gustavo to the Panther. After that cutscene, you can freely go through the um, you can freely go through the cameras. And the camera section is actually extremely easy and it's very reasonable. Um, I'm glad that they didn't make this complicated at all. Now, to check on the cameras, all you pretty much gotta do is scroll left to right. That's it. Just scroll left to right. Um, if you start out on the right, scroll all the way to the left. So scroll from one end to the other end. That's all you pretty much gotta do on the cameras. The animal cage area, there won't be anything there. But then the outside area and the basement, that's what you really wanna um what you really wanna kind of look for. So just scroll through the cameras. Once you get to the basement, it'll tell you, you know, what your main loot is. It's in this area right near the safe. Now the first time that you do it, it will be the Madrazo files. Um, other times that you do it, it can be bearer bonds, it can be a rare tequila, it can be um, a rare diamond, it can also be a diamond panther which is extremely rare. I haven't gotten that one yet, but I've heard people tell me about that one. So just that's where your main loot is going to be. Then you just scroll, keep scrolling through the cameras and you'll also check out some gold on the tables. Now, gold is the most valuable is the most valuable pickup that you can get besides the main loot. So if you're wondering what is the most valuable pickup between cash, weed, cocaine and gold and artwork, gold is the most valuable one. It is the most valuable one. Then it's then it is cocaine and then it actually is artwork. Now, inside here, you can only get the gold and the artwork in here with two key cards. Now, one key card will be randomly somewhere in Rubio's um, compound. It'll be on a guard. So you have to kill a guard and get it. I it, Sometimes it was on the very first guard that I killed. Sometimes I had to kill a few guards. So that'll be your first key card. The second key card will always be on the desk in Rubio's office. Now, Rubio's office is on the top level of the mansion, you can climb up the staircase and go up there. You have to do um, you have to do a hacking mini game if you want to enter through the basement. The basement, the kind of cellar level, you need a key. The key is also going to be on a guard, and then you need to do a fingerprint, fingerprint hack, and that'll take you the elevator up. If you go up through the top through the staircase, you don't need to do the hack, but you may have to deal with some guards on the staircase. And then if you want to go down from there with the elevator, you do need to do the hacking game. So let's keep that in mind. The two key cards, one on a random guard, the other one in Rubio's office, and to access the gold or the paintings, you need to have two players simultaneously use the key cards. So you need to have two players use the key cards at the same time, kind of similar to the casino heist. If you are doing this solo, unfortunately, you are not going to be able to get the gold or the paintings. Gold and paintings are only in the compound. They're not outside the compound. If you're doing it solo, look for cocaine. Now that we've covered the loot in the compound, let's cover the compound entry points. We're going to have the main gate you just all you do is just scan through the cameras, the north wall, the north gate, the south wall, the south gate. Those are the first five. And these, you only need to label them once. You label them once, you just scroll through the camera, it'll automatically do it for you. And then that's it. You never need to check out the compound entry points again. They will be marked forever on your planning board. The only things you'll have to mark again are the main loot and the other loot inside the compound. Now the final compound entry point is the drainage tunnel and this actually kind of drove me mad the very first time <laughs> that I was playing this because what happened was I actually kept going through the cameras thinking that I missed something maybe I had to zoom in on something I didn't find anything then I ran around the fence area outside thinking maybe there's like a hole in the fence or something I can climb through maybe that's another entry point nothing there then I actually went all the way to the back of Rubio's compound and I even went to the back here I kind of took a picture of the sewer thing thinking maybe this is the entrance it was not the entrance and then I actually went right up to the wall the very back of this compound and I found a drainage tunnel. I felt kind of stupid at that point, but that's where the drainage tunnel is. And it's actually down below, so you have to dive down below if you want to enter there. And for the drainage tunnel, you don't need to take a picture. 
It'll just do it automatically. If you want to enter through there, you need the blowtorch. So do the blowtorch prep if you want to enter through there. And that is pretty much it for the compound entry points and the loot inside the compound. Next up, we have the infiltration points. Now, the very first one, this is the airstrip. This is really easy. All you pretty much got to do is leave the island. This will automatically be unlocked. The second one, Halo Jump. Now, the description says that you need the plane or in order to make the jump. So if you want to make the jump, you want to use this as an infiltration point, you need to steal the RO-86 um, for the prep missions. But to unlock it as an infiltration point, you don't need to do the mission yet. I didn't even do the plane mission, and I had this automatically unlocked. So I believe this just comes automatically with this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I had this unlocked without even doing the mission. Now, for the West Beach, this one's also really easy. All you pretty much gotta do is just get to the party, so this will be unlocked automatically. You get to that party area, it'll automatically be unlocked as part of the first scope out mission. Now, the main dock, this is this dock that's in the middle, kind of on the left side. All you pretty much gotta do is just take a picture of it. It is also an escape point. Then we also have the North Dock. North Dock is... On the right side of the island, northeastern part of the island, right here in this area. This is actually where you find the first bolt cutters also. Take a picture of the dock here, right here, do it. It is also an escape point. Then the other ones, these, these are kind of missable. They are the north drop zone. Now the north drop zone, this one is at the very tip of the island, the very top of the island, all the way up north. You'll see this path, this road that kind of leads to nowhere. And when you get there, it'll lead you to this small kind of abandoned shack and you'll also see a boat on the right side. Pavel will actually comment and tell you to take a picture of it. Take a picture of it there and you're done for that one. Last one is at the very bottom of the island. It is the south drop zone. So you see a path that goes all the way to the bottom of the island. Just take a picture of that and you pretty much got it. Then we have the drainage tunnel, that is also an infiltration point. This will be unlocked automatically when you also scope it out. So when you scope it out, you scope it out as one of the compound entry points, it'll also be an infiltration point. Now for escape points, escape points really easy. Airstrip also, like I said, automatically unlocked. Main dock, when we take a picture of the main dock, also get that for an escape point. North dock also as an escape point when we take the picture. And then the Koshatka submarine, that will be unlocked automatically because you already have the Koshatka submarine. Now let's move on to the points of interest. Um, now we're going to be talking about these. Power station is the first one. So power station, this is right at the airfield. You can take a picture of the solar panels. Pavel will just comment on that, but that's not really a point of interest. The point of interest is a little bit further behind the solar panels. You will actually see this area right here, clearly electrical. Take a picture of that. That's it. You got it. Control tower. This is the air traffic control tower, a little further down the runway on the left side. Take a picture of it. I believe that you can't leave the island until you take a picture of this anyways. So you have this unlocked automatically. Another one we have is the supply truck. Now the supply truck, this one you guys might remember from my playthrough when me and my friend entered the compound with two people with disguises. This will work with two players. So if you have two players, you can enter the you can enter the compound. You have to get disguises first. But this this truck is in different places. It can be right here at the airfield where you take a picture of it. It can also be at the main dock in two areas. It can be further on the right side, kind of near those warehouses, and then it can be all the way right next to the dock, right next to the main dock on the left side. So keep an eye out for this truck also. If you see this truck, you can also use this to drive into the compound undetected, but remember, you need the disguises first to get in. Now, as for the other points of interest, like the bolt cutters, the grappling hook, and the guard clothing, I'm going to stay straight up, the bolt cutters are completely useless. Why? Because the blowtorch that you get in the prep mission will actually do the exact same thing as the bolt cutters. And that's guaranteed each time, unlike having to look for the bolt cutters everywhere. So let's do the blowtorch prep mission, it's so easy, you can do it in less than 5 minutes. You just go to a construction site, fight a few guys, get the blowtorch back to your sub, and the blowtorch also opens locks even faster than the bolt cutters. And on top of that, the blowtorch also allows you to access Rubio's compound through the drainage tunnel, which is the easiest way to get into his compound. So do the blowtorch, don't even bother with the bolt cutters, they're just a waste of time. The grappling hook, the grappling hook is a little bit more useful. I'll have a few locations here up on the screen. One location is at the airfield at the end of it. Another location is at the north dock. You can actually find them kind of up on this tower. You know, I don't know what type of tower this is, but just climb this ladder. Sometimes it's up here. It can also be on top of the water tower. 
and it can also be on top of the communications tower, the main tower that you actually climb up. It can be at the very top, you know, when you're doing the hacking the camera sequences. And there can also be another grappling hook at the lighthouse. Now, it's important to note these locations are random. They can sometimes be there, sometimes um, they can't. The grappling equipment, the grappling hook is not going to be that useful because you would have to fight your way through the checkpoint and then throw it over the wall when you could have just gone in through the drainage tunnel. If you want to mix up your heist, I guess it could make things a little bit more fun. You could also escape out of the compound with different entrances with the grappling hook, but you can just kill the guards quietly and exit through the front door. That's what I did. So if you want to make things a little bit more fun, look for the grappling hook. GTA series on his channel, they have actually made a guide which shows all the grappling hook locations. I think there are 16 in total. So if you want to know every single location, check, check out his video. I'll link his video down below. But personally me, I don't think the grappling hook is that helpful. Now, as for the guard clothing, the guard clothing is the most helpful, in my opinion, out of all three. And the guard clothing will allow you to walk past a lot of guards on the outside of the compound. When you're in the compound, though, the guards there will recognize every single other guard, so you'll get caught. You can use the guard clothing with the combination of the truck to get into Rubio's compound. And a few locations that I know of is there's one right at the airfield when you climb this staircase, sometimes it's here. There's one a little bit north of the airfield on that dock by itself. At the very end of the dock, there could be another guard guard outfit there. Also check at the bottom of towers. Sometimes guard towers, they're there. And there's another one kind of near this barracks. This is at the main dock. So there are a few places that the guard outfits are at. And it's important to keep in mind that the guard outfits, you only need one for everyone. So even if you have four people, four people can get disguises from just one. So it's just find one, find one in a, in a good location that you like. And that's pretty much it. Don't go crazy with it trying to find every single one because at, at max you can find four and in total i believe there's 16. like i said earlier gta series is a video that shows all these locations but if you just want the basics you want to get in the heist quickly easy blowtorch drainage tunnel that's it okay so now let me show you guys all the secondary targets and this is probably what the vast bulk of people came here for now the secondary targets i'm going to start at the airfield and then work my way down so the first one is right in the hangar and there's a good amount here and chances are one of the loots that you're looking for like cocaine which is the most valuable outside the compound will be here and it was here for me and it's important to note you have to take a picture of each one because when i did this the first time i was taking pictures of multiple and i was only getting the picture for one unless it's glitched out Take pictures of both just to be sure. So there's one right there on the bottom. Take a picture of those two or one. Some of these might be empty. It's important to note that. Some gates could be completely empty, but this is the location for all of them. The next one is right up here on this ladder. Now this one I missed. This is the one I missed. I didn't know about this one until later. My friend actually told me about this. I can't believe I missed this one. So take a picture of that one there. And if you want to know how to get, get to it when you're doing the heist itself, this is what you do. You take this forklift right here. You pick up the box. You posi position the box right underneath this kind of blue rag here. You climb up on the box and then climb over the fence. That's all you got to do to get in there. The next secondary point is going to be directly south of the hangar, not too far from it right at the shack here at the airfield it's also across from the power station just go in here and take a picture and like i said some tables might be empty the whole area might be empty but these are places where goods can spawn moving on we're going to be going towards the north dock the north dock the first one is going to be in this rectangular building here and there's spaces on two tables for items this building you're going to be familiar with because you're going to go in here by default as part of the first scoping out mission the next mi place at the North Dock is going to be this building. It's going to be on the same side as the rectangular building, but the gate is actually at the back. So the gate is right at the back of the building. It's right over here. Take a picture of that. Moving on, the next one is going to be still at the North Dock. It's going to be on the water across from those other two buildings. It's going to be this building over here at the end of the road by itself. And it's going to have kind of a garage gate. It's going to have three tables here. Now, to open up this gate during the heist, you actually have to go over to the switch over here on the left side. But two people are required to open this. I know it kind of falls when I touch it. But during the heist, you can actually pull the switch. It holds open the gate, and another person goes in there. So only with two people. The next one here, we got the weed farm. It's going to be this building off by itself. This one would actually be probably easy to hit because there's not too many guards. So if you find like cocaine in here, go for this one. This one will be probably e pretty easy to take. Now we're at the main dock. This is where we're going to have the last ones here. First one is at this shack at the main dock. Take a picture of this right here. Whenever you see these shack buildings, go in them because they always have those gates in them with loot. 
The other main dock target we have is this one right here in this large warehouse. Now it's on the side of this large warehouse. It can be missable as the other ones were in shacks or in small buildings off to the side, but this one is part of a larger building. So let's take a picture of this one here. It is also across from the water. Okay, we're moving on. We got another building here at the main dock. This is kind of at, at the very end of the main dock and it's one of those garage gates again. Right here, it's this building by itself. And again, remember, you have to hit this, one player has to hit the switch, hold the garage gate open while the other player goes inside. That's the only way to get the loot inside these gates. Two people are required to open them. And the very last one here, we have this one. It's at this shack here, right over here. Get this one, and that is pretty much it. And I have a picture right here. This is of all the secondary targets. So take a look at this, guys. This is a map of the secondary targets. If you want to take a picture of this, this is where I found it. But again, remember, some of these areas might have nothing inside them. It's randomized, so you could have cash all in one, cocaine in one, weed in one. And when I finally went back to the submarine, I had 26 targets in total. The rest of the targets are going to be inside the compound, but that's, you know, really easy. Like I said, all you pretty much got to do, just move the camera from side to side and you get all of them. The ones here on the pictures, if you're doing it solo and you see cocaine, just take a pictures of two cocaine. Two cocaine, that's all you can carry in, in a bag. That is the best that you can carry when you're doing it solo. You can't go in the gold. So if you're doing it solo, if you find a cocaine, just immediately stop, do the heist, take those two stashes of cocaine, then take the main target in the compound and just exfiltrate. But that's pretty much it for this guide. I hope this guide has helped people out. If people have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, you might subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.